Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many Angular developers encounter. Our viewer is looking for the most effective way to apply frequent CSS changes in their Angular 2 application. They have a grid that updates in real time using WebSockets, and they want to highlight recent updates with CSS changes that only last for a short time. Let's dive into the details of their situation and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To effectively manage CSS changes in your Angular 2 application, we need to address the timing of visual updates. First, let's discuss the issue with the current approach of resetting indicators when new data arrives. Next, we explored using CSS animations. However, this approach caused performance issues, leading to lagging animations. This suggests that too many simultaneous animations can overwhelm the browser. Our third attempt involved creating a timer service that checks for due items at fixed intervals. While this method works, it generates frequent violation warnings in the console indicating potential performance issues. To optimize this, consider using Angular's built-in change detection strategies. You can also explore using request animation frame for smoother updates instead of set interval, which can help reduce the load on the browser. Lastly, ensure that your timer service is efficient. You might want to limit the number of items being checked or implement a more sophisticated scheduling mechanism to avoid performance hits. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To effectively apply frequent CSS changes in Angular 2, start by setting the change detection strategy to on push. This way, Angular only checks for changes when necessary, reducing unnecessary evaluations. Next, avoid using function calls within ngif or ng4. This prevents Angular from caching values, forcing it to reevaluate them each time. Lastly, optimize the check items function. Its current runtime is O entered, which can lead to unnecessary loops. Streamlining this function will enhance performance, especially with larger arrays. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To effectively apply frequent CSS changes in Angular 2, ditch the set interval method. Instead, use set timeout only when necessary. Implement a timer service to manage timing efficiently. This service checks for items and triggers updates based on due times. Add and remove timer items easily with methods that update the due time or clear items as needed. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
To apply frequent CSS changes in Angular, start by defining CSS classes for normal and updated states of your elements. For example, create classes like row normal and row updated. Next, set up an update listener. You can define an on change attribute in your HTML or use JavaScript to target elements directly. In your update function, change the class to row updated when an update occurs, and then use set timeout to revert it back to row normal after a specified interval. This method allows you to visually indicate updates and automatically revert the styling after a set time. Hope this helps. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. First, ensure you've rebuilt your project after clearing the code from check items. It seems the check items function might be taking too long. I set up a stack blitz with your code, but couldn't recreate the issue. You might want to fork it and try to replicate the problem there. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To effectively apply frequent CSS changes in Angular 2, consider using Angular's animations. For instance, you can create transitions for elements added to a list. In your HTML, you can use a trigger for the animation. When an element enters, it starts with an opacity of zero and transitions to full opacity over five seconds. In TypeScript, define the trigger with transitions for entering and leaving. You can customize the duration and easing for the animations. You can also apply specific styles, like changing the background color of new items. For example, set a green background immediately, then transition to white after four seconds. And that's it, guys. We've gone through. I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe. Really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one. Thank you.